from Windsor West. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education. Speaker, children and families across the province continue to inundate my office expressing concerns that provincial and demonstration schools may be forced to close. Students who have had positive life-changing experiences are coming forward, sharing their stories. Parents have seen their children grow, thrive, and succeed. Experts in the sector have spoken publicly about the value of these schools. Even pediatricians are coming forward. These schools help our most vulnerable kids. Some children, particularly those who thrive in ASL or QSL environments, will be left with no other local alternatives. My question is clear. Will the Minister of Education ensure that no provincial or demonstration school is closed as a result of consultation? Yes or no? Minister. Yes, and uh, of course, as we've said many times, uh, no decisions have been made. The consultation is continuing, and we really uh, do need to think about how do we best serve our children with special needs. We know that um, the the children that the children who are in the demonstration schools are served very well by the demonstration schools. Nobody is arguing that that uh, they have very good programs, but what what we are looking at is the, the availability of those programs, the accessibility of those programs, and we, we are reviewing the demonstration schools. And I want to assure people that that review will happen as quickly as possible, but we do want to hear from everyone involved, and no decisions have been made at this point. Answer. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. These are critical programs for students uh, that go into the provincial and the demonstration schools, as the minister herself has acknowledged. So perhaps she should lift the caps on enrollment and reopen enrollment rather than keeping it closed. Right? Speaker, it was a yes or no question. Even though the minister herself continually rises in this House and speaks with certainty about the positive impacts of these schools, it is clear that the government will not commit to keeping these specialized schools open. On this side of the House, we believe that all children deserve equal access to education that allows them to thrive. If families want to benefit from these schools, they should have every right to do so. This government should, be, should not be balancing the books on the backs of vulnerable children and families. I'll ask again, will the minister tell concerned families today that no provincial Christian. or demonstration school will be closed as a result of consultation? Thank you, Minister. Yes, and I, I think the, uh, the, the, the member opposite in her question actually hit on the issue here, is that we believe in equal access for all students with special needs. So we are committed to reviewing special education programs and making sure that, in fact, we are meeting the needs of special education students. Not, as she said, locally, and uh, these aren't local schools, they're schools where people fly in from, literally fly in uh, from, around, from around the province. We need to look at what is the availability of programs in all boards throughout the province, in all regions throughout the province? What's the availability yes, of programming for children with very severe learning disabilities? That's what we're having Thank a look you. at, is equal access. Thank you. New question.